Headed west to Kansas. It's my annual Kansas trip. I'm looking forward to it. Always love hunting Kansas every year. The forecast is showing a lot of wind, 20 to 25 miles per hour. So that'll be uh, one variable I have to work through. But the temperatures are in the 50s, so the birds should be fired up, starting to split off from the wintering groups. And uh, just gotta kinda do a little scouting, roost them, and see what I've got to work with, and then make a game plan, which I'll fill you guys in on when I get there. But hopefully there's quite a few birds this year. And uh, I get one shot. Only get the one tag here in this part of the state. If I were to get a second tag, I have to go to North Central or Northwest Kansas, which I don't think I'll be doing this year, but gonna go after one for sure, and uh, hopefully that'll be in the morning. So stay tuned. So the neighbor was gracious enough to lend me his shop again. Justin and I stayed here last year, um, but the neighbor was nice enough to let me come back and crash here for the next couple days this weekend. So I'm gonna get everything set up. And then it's about 9.30 now. In about an hour, I will be headed back to the field to set up my decoys, take my decoys in rather, get half my stuff in because I have a lot, to, a lot of stuff to carry. So that's the plan. I'm gonna get everything set up right now and for my camp. And then I'm gonna head out, take my decoys and whatever else I can take just to light my load when I pack in, this, um, in the morning. So that is the plan. Little supper for tonight. Little ramen noodles. <sighs> Good morning. <clears throat> I don't know what it does to look at the weather forecast. It's supposed to be windy. I knew that was gonna happen, but did not know this was gonna happen. Oh, goodness. I looked at the radar. It should be clearing off here by seven, right at daylight. But I've gotta get in, build a blind, set up decoys, probably make two trips to bring the bow and the camera. And it just coming down in sheets. Look at that. Another tip is do not set your decoys out in the snow. They get covered in snow. That spooks turkeys. <laughs> so I don't know what to do. I might sit it out here for another, let's see what time is it right now. It's five o'clock right now. Sit out for another 30 minutes. Hopefully this blows off and I can slip in. It's gonna be muddy, nasty, cold, windy. I just hope the turkeys are fired up and there's turkeys in the area. delayed but I finally heard the first gobble of the morning about 500 yards on the other side of the creek I let out some loud yelps and he answered right back so he knows where I'm at I just hope he makes his way over this way he should historically they like to travel up and down this creek so just a matter of time it is not warm out at all
Just like that, I'm done in Kansas. Oh. Oh. I'm so cold. It was windy, it was spitting rain, sleet, snow, everything this morning. <clears throat> Didn't hear a single gobble. Oh, what time is it? 7.16. I didn't hear my first gobble till probably 6.45, 7 o'clock. And then all of a sudden, they were just on the other side of the creek, made their way through the timber, across the creek, 18 yards. What a beautiful shot on that bird. And that's it. <sighs> all right, so I tr I'm gonna try to make these videos a little bit more educational, um, especially for those beginner turkey hunters. Um, you know, if you're <clears throat> kind of intimidated by the turkey hunting and everything I mean yeah use a blind and everything but this is kind of my setup this is I I hardly use a blind anymore you can get away with a lot with these decoys but this is my blind I just find some uh, just like a little brush pile or some deadfall and I just set up behind it you can see how I have my camera set up there it's all brushed in real good and uh, I basically use that as a blind I'll sit here right behind the camera behind the deadfall and I'll hold my bow up while I film with one hand and I'll wait till those toms are preoccupied usually with the decoy and uh, wait till the fan or their heads are covered or they're flogging the decoy and that's when I draw and that's what I did on this one I don't know if the GoPro caught it or not it looked like the GoPro died but down here is my decoy setup and there is a reason why I set up the way I do um, I have the bedded DSD hen, or the breeder hen. She's down here like this, and she's facing away from me. And the reason for that is a lot of times these toms will come in, <clears throat> and if they're not interested in the strutter decoy, they'll go and try to mount this hen. But that's not the case this morning. They came to the strutter decoy. So that brings me to my next point. The DSD strutter, I always try to face it towards me. The reason I do that is because usually Toms will come in, Jake's will come in and, and face that decoy head on. And when they do that, sometimes they're full strut, they cover their head, and that's what I use to draw. Um, <clears throat> now these other hands, they're a little further out. And the reason I do that is around points like this, or maybe the Tom's just around the corner, the hens are out a little bit further, so he at least hears what's making the calls. Or when I call, he can see what's supposed to be making the call. And that kind of flags him in, if you will, or at least draws him to me. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, gather up my tom, get a few pictures. I am freezing cold. It is very, very cold. And uh, just get everything packed out. I've got probably two trips to make, a lot of stuff to carry. Um, but let's go check this tom out. Make sure I don't spook any other birds. Oh yeah, what a beautiful bird. Look at this. Great shot. <clears throat> Decent spurs there, probably three quarter of an inch. I would say. Man, how can you not love turkeys? They're so beautiful. So beautiful. That's my bird. Get him packed up and head back to the pickup. Oh, God is good. I love turkey hunting.
of getting out, even if it is windy. And uh, just enjoy being in God's creation. Blessed to have another day to turkey hunt. I know you've heard me say it time and time again, but this is why the bow hitch is so nice. Whew. There's so much stuff to carry between the camera, the decoys, the backpack, the turkey. If you haven't checked it out yet, check out the bow hitch. You won't regret it.